I do not recommend this. I wanted to let you guys know Bill is doing our very first meet and greet on September 8th in Birmingham, Alabama. It's the second Saturday in September. We're going to meet up at Magic City Octane. It's a show they do in Birmingham. I'm going to bring the MR2 with me so you guys can come check the car out. Come meet me. I'll bring some t-shirts and stickers and stuff like that. I would love for you guys to come out and meet me there. All right, back to the video. All right, so I made this hole with the screwdriver. You can see I had this giant air pocket back here. I could have avoided this if I would have um, put some fiberglass between these two pieces when I screwed them together, and I should have done that. I know better than to not do that, but I forgot. So I'm going ahead and tearing this up now, making it ugly now so that later I won't have to worry about this again. Um, basically, I'm going to mix up some fiberglass filler and just shove it down into there so that I get this all filled in. So when I start sanding, there's no air bubbles for me to hit ultimately ruining the piece <laughs> so anyway down here is good because I reinforced it from the back really well right here it just didn't exactly work in that area so we're gonna fix that along with some bondoing and uh, then we'll be back on track close it sucks to do stuff like this because I'm literally undoing all the work that I've done on this joint but in the end I'm gonna have a much better product and I'm not gonna have to worry about this fender cracking right there down the road especially giving this car away I don't want it to crack All right, so the fenders are getting really smooth, and I think I'm at a point now where I can move forward. I've got a lot of little areas that I need to fix, like the gas door opening and um, the little scoop areas where the turn signals are going to be. Uh, but mostly that stuff is going to be like detail stuff. They have to spend a lot of time focusing on that one part. And so as far as big parts go, it's all really smooth, and it's to a place where I can start working it out to paint. Um, so I think it's a good time for me to cut the door, or at least start cutting the door. So I've got a plan, me, Chase, and Caleb figured out um, how we're going to do the doors, and I think it's really good, I think it's gonna work out really well. Uh, it does pose a problem, this thing being a four door instead of a two door, but in the end, I think it's going to be a much cleaner build and a much more useful build. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start that process today. You found a cat? 
What are you doing with it? Oh, I don't want that cat. All right, I think the internet likes cats. I mean, I'm on Corbin and I get cats. At that size, yeah, I'm capable. I just put him where he was. He was in the bush. Yeah. Well, now that you already touched him, you have to let him. Also, I think this was a cat either or the mom that was on our porch the other day. So what we're gonna do is just carry this line straight down through the fender, all the way through the wheel arch. Um, I've got to make basically a new door. So uh, that's going to be my new line. Instead of trying to follow the door line and all this kind of crazy cutting and stuff, I think it's going to be a lot safer, and I think it's going to work really well. There's a lot of like extra real estate in this door, so the door actually comes in like this before you hit a gasket about this far. Uh, so what we'll do down here is we'll radius out the fender way up here. So we're taking probably three inches out of the fender, maybe four. We'll radius it out through here and we're actually going to radius out the door as well and just kind of follow this fender line all the way down to here and then we'll cut it straight so the door is going to get cut and then i'll have to uh, wrap some fiberglass around the door to kind of make a new door and bolt it in on the inside of the car that's the plan i think it's a good one i think it's going to work as far as the handles go um i've got another plan for those that we'll talk about on another day i'll probably just do those all in one day um, but that's how it's going to work so uh, basically this front half of the fender will open up with the door and the back half will stay connected to the car as far as side skirts go i'm not really there yet um, once i get this kind of figured out and sorted then i can move to what my side skirt is going to look like so just kind of move one piece at a time so what we're going to do today is we're going to cut this line and technically make the door uh, capable of being opened again uh, today we'll only be able to do it from the inside because the handle is still covered um, but we'll be able to open it and get in and out and then once we get some wheels and stuff fitted, which I may also do today, they're not the wheels I'm going to use, but there's some wheels that I think will work. Uh, once I get them fitted and kind of figure out where it's going to be and where they're going to rest, I may go ahead and make my lines for radiusing the fenders out. We'll see. So that's the plan. Um, I've still got some stuff to do over here. Uh, I'm going to have to rebuild this off the car. You can see I've got I've sanded three right here. And I've got some fiberglass back there, but like up front, there's just some air. And this is still too big. So... I'm gonna sand that down, get it as flat as I can, and then come back behind it with some fiberglass and kind of fix that. Um, but this area needs to get done. This area is done. I've just got to work my way up through the sandpaper grits. That area is done. I'll finish this off the car. That area is done. I've just got to work my way up to 320. This area is done. I've just got to work my way up to 320. Um, this needs a little more love, just kind of getting it smoothed out and looking the way I want. This needs a little more love, so I'll do both of those. Um, the same, it's the same store on the other side. This area on the other side needs some love. That's done, and then the back fender on the other side is done. So we're really moving pretty quick through this thing, and uh, and we'll be done very soon with these fenders. So, uh, so today the goal is just to get this fourth door cut, and then maybe get into that as well. We'll see. Can I do it? Mm -hmm. Trained well. You would cry. I would cry, but I would be very frustrated with you. small problem. All right, so this is an 18 inch wheel with a 255 40 18 tire, which is the tire I plan on running. Um, I know it's a thicker tire than you might think, but there's a few reasons. One, it's a pretty cheap tire to get, so whoever wins it won't have a problem finding tires for their car. Um, two, I like thicker sidewalls. So you'll notice I run a 40 on my MR2 as well. I just like the way the 40 looks. 35 to me just looks too thin, so I think this is gonna work. Overall, the big wheels look good. This is an 18 by 8.5, I think, um, with a negative 45 offset. I've got 50 millimeters on there, so this is an 18 by 8.5 with a negative 5 offset. So I think I'm going to look pretty, pretty good with my, uh, with my original plan. 
So, with that, I guess I'm gonna go do the other side. I got some packages. I'm not sure who they are from, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and open them up and see what's inside. I'll do this one first. It feels like uh, those like hardware packages you get from Harbor Freight. I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it feels like. Oh yeah, very cool. This is all shrink wrap stuff. So a lot of you guys said, dude, you got to use shrink wrap on all those connections. Uh, so thank you. I can't remember who said they were going to send me this. Thank you for this, man. This is awesome. I will definitely get some serious use out of that. Check this one out. Oh, very cool. I was wondering if that's what this was. This is a Durablock Air Force Professional six-piece block kit. And I actually know who sent this to me. It's a guy named Three Wheels, One Block. He's got an Instagram. Uh, go ahead and go give him a follow because he supports his channel, so I want you to support him. And, uh, and it's actually really cool. It comes with, obviously, some advertisements, a couple of eliminators, which people have been telling me I need to use those. Um, and then a bunch of blocks. So we got like a narrow block for small areas, a round block, which I really need for the front fenders, so that's awesome. Got a big block here for doing really large flat surfaces, which I need for the rear fenders, so that is awesome. And uh, just a regular sanding block, kind of the normal one you see, some soap, I guess, because you never know. And then two kind of smaller, flexible blocks. So this is gonna be really great. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this as I kind of finish up the kit. I've got it sculpted out mostly, um, so these are gonna help me get it into a place where it's ready to be painted, and I'm very, very excited about it. So thank you so much, Three Wheels One Block. I'm gonna get some major use out of these things. And I'm really, really pumped. This, this is something I've needed and have just procrastinated on for a long time. All right, so it's looking like I'm gonna need a modest six inch drop. I don't know how many millimeters that is, but I'll put it right here. Um, basically a lot, a lot more than anybody's probably ever lowered an Audi B5 before. And um, I don't really know how I'm gonna do it. Most of the extreme coilover setups drop like 60 millimeters, which is basically three inches or 80 millimeters, my bad basically three inches, um, and three inches isn't even gonna get me close. Uh, the good thing about this is, because the wheels and the tire setup are so big, they're so tall, um, I've got like 10 inches of ground clearance on the back, so I got plenty of clearance. The problem I'm thinking is gonna run into, one, getting the springs to even sit that low, and then two, um, CV axles and the all-wheel drive components and all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the wheels off the rear again, and uh, pull the springs out, and jack it up and just see kind of what we're looking like. Um, I'm not going to be able to actually put the wheel back on until I cut the fender, but I don't want to do that until I know if I can even go as low as I need to go. So, I'm just going to take stuff apart and get in there and see what's going on. Hopefully, I have good results. I don't know. Here is my creation. So basically I took the spring out. I gotta show you guys that footage because it was not smart, um, but it's out. I took the bump stop off of the shock and I got the shock bottomed out. This gives me six inches of drop, so that's no suspension. I'm gonna throw this in though and just see where we're at, put the stock wheel on so it'll go up into the arch hopefully. about moving the shock tower up but if I cut a hole and move the shock tower up into the trunk basically um, I'll also have to cut out the wheel wells and I mean you're getting into a lot of fabrication work that I don't want to get into so it looks like at this point it's going to mean uh, lowering the car as much as I can and then building the fender down to meet the, the tire kind of pulling this line down a little bit I think it's doable I think it'll work I'm gonna cut these coils down a little bit and I think I'm gonna take like two coils off and um, see kind of where that sits me. I think that's gonna be about a three inch drop. Um, and so that's kind of what I'm going for is three inch, a three inch drop. Um, if, that, if I can get close to that with this suspension just kind of to mock everything up, that'll be good I can keep moving. If I can't, I'm gonna really have to uh, get those coilovers here quick. So I'm gonna try this first though. I think it will work. 
Alright, we'll see. Just like kind of dab it on there. Yep. You can draw on your plate, but don't draw on Daddy's car. I'm Daddy's car. But Daddy wants you to draw on his car. Go. say that because I've looked at other B5s with 3 inch drops and the tire normally is tucked pretty high into the fender and if the fender was still there this tire would be tucked about about this much. So I think this is going to be a drop that I can achieve with my coilovers. Um, that being said I think I'm going to leave the car right here. I don't really want to get too far into this before I have my actual suspension and I just found out that it's coming next week. So I'll put my suspension in and then I can finish trimming everything out and getting the door fiberglassed and kind of getting everything settled where it's going to live. Um, I'm really excited. I think this is coming out really good. If I can't get the car any lower than this, I'm going to build down with the fender and, uh, and kind of recreate this arch down a little bit lower. I did it on Photoshop and it looked fine, um, but I think as, as crazy as it sounds, I think that's going to be the easiest method for me to get this thing right and I think it's going to be the one that looks the best so that's going to be my plan I've kind of got a lip right here so I may build that down or just make this whole fender come down I don't know but that is going to be something I do once the suspension's on so what's next well obviously we got to get the suspension on so we can finish this door um, I'm going to build this door in that way like the fiberglass will go in that way and then mount to the door there so that I have some more support same with this one you can see this is kind of loose right here part of that is because the bottom's not connected but um get this to kind of hold its shape and make sure that it does not move over time, I'm going to build in this way and then mount it on the inside as well. So they'll be very sturdy, very solid. Um, so that's coming. Uh, finishing up the gas cap door thing, that's not super exciting, so I'm just going to throw that into the next couple videos as I'm working on it. Um, but making sure that the gas door can actually open is going to be kind of the goal there. And then, um, and then next I think is side skirts. So I think I'll move on to the side skirts and do those um, and get those sorted while this is all kind of waiting. So that's what I'm going to do next as far as fiberglass goes and then I'll also be throwing in some suspension very soon too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this video was really crazy with the giant spacers and the wheels that don't fit and the cutting of the fenders and the cutting of the fender liners and the actual quarter panels and all this crazy stuff that happened at once. Um, 
So I'm really excited. It looks so bad. <laughs> and so we can only go up from here. So make sure you tune in again. In just a few days, I'll have another video up on this car. Hey, shout out to the Patreon crew. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for everything that y'all have done so far. We're going to be having another live stream next Sunday. So not this Sunday. This Sunday is the... 19th. It'll be at 8.30, just like the last time, 8.30 Central. Um, so make sure you guys are there for that. But I got new stickers, so those are live in the shop right now, so make sure you go check the shop out. Get some stickers so you can represent Bill on your car or your computer or your Xbox or whatever it is you put your stickers on. Um, those are there. They're really nice. They're high quality. I tested them out on all my cars first, and uh, and they, they look really good. I've also got t-shirts there and some jet tags too, so if you're looking for some way to support this channel and you want to get something, um, those things are there as well. Alright guys, I think that is it for me. I cannot wait to continue on this build, but for now, I'm going to go eat. See ya.